you're asking about these uh, restaurant groups uh, that are probably larger ones that have management companies. I can't really give you any really solid advice because nine times out of ten, I'm grandfathered in uh, to the groups because I'm already working for these restaurant groups. So whether they're bought, sold out, or the group, group decides to hire this management company, um, I'm usually my my vendor information is usually just passed on uh, to these groups and we just start working with them. Uh, but I can tell you, here, here's a little tip for you. If these are larger restaurant groups, uh, I'm assuming because they're being managed by uh, management companies, uh, they're going to all have training units. And if you've got a market of 14 of them, 10 of them, or 6 of them, um, just call around and ask what the training unit is. Uh, nine times out of ten, all the employees will know where the training unit is. Uh, it's a high-profile location where they're usually training general managers, district managers, other key employees uh, in the group. And it's a very, very good store uh, to try to go solicit. Um, nine times out of ten, they are training um, general managers to be district managers and so on. So they're allowing them what is called putting them putting purveyors on uh, their vendor list and a lot of times this is part of their job and they may even do this as a training process and just be putting you on and have no intentions of using you but therefore now you're on the vendor list and you can solicit these folks um, nine times out of ten it is these training units and simply just go ask where the training unit is that's the story that you want to approach uh, it's a really good tip. Another tip right here at the Pressure Washing Institute. You got it. You heard it today.